nutritional needs following surgery, recovery following surgery can be a long and difficult road, and you need to do everything possible to help yourself after you have had any type of surgical procedure. Obviously, first and foremost, you need to listen to the advice of your doctor and do everything that he or she tells you do. One of the things that your doctor is probably going to recommend is a change in diet, and except in the case of liver damage or some kidney diseases, one of the dietary changes will be an increased intake of protein. Because protein plays a vital role in muscle and tissue recovery, it is essential that you have enough protein in your diet following surgery. Not only will protein give you energy and help you to feel better, it will also help you to heal quicker. In addition to dietary changes, your physician may also recommend the following, no bending or lifting for a certain period of time, just moving the wrong way can undo what was done in surgery, not to mention cause you a great deal of pain. No driving a motor vehicle for a certain length of time, especially if you are taking medications that may make you drowsy. Plenty of rest, you need to rest following surgery, to give the body time to heal itself. You do need to have a certain amount of activity to avoid blood clots in the legs, but don't overdo it, especially in the beginning. Pain control, including medication and physiotherapy, your physician may require you to take certain medications, such as painkillers, antibiotics, and anti-inflammatory drugs, and go through a physiotherapy program. Proper care of the incision, make sure that you change the dressing regularly, and that the area around the incision is kept clean at all times. Your physician may recommend using an antibiotic ointment, such as polysporin. Surgery after care includes good nutrition, often following surgery, many patients are unable to eat. This can be for a number of reasons, including a sore throat from a tube used for general anesthesia. When this happens, it is important to still get enough of the important vitamins, nutrients, and macronutrients, including protein, in your diet, and sometimes the only way to do this is with protein supplements. Protein supplements are ideal for many patients following surgery because they can be made into drinks that are more easily swallowed than solid food. There are many types of protein supplements available on the market, and they are made with many different protein sources, including whey, casein, soy, and rice. Whey, this is a milk derivative, and considered to be a complete protein because it contains all eight essential amino acids and all 14 non-essential amino acids. Those who are allergic to milk and milk products or who are lactose intolerant should use a different type of supplement, such as soy or rice. Casein, this is also a milk derivative and another complete protein. Actually, casein is what whey comes from. Again, this is not the best choice for people who have issues with milk products. Soy, here is another complete protein, and because it is vegetable based, it is ideal for vegetarians. Soy may cause digestive troubles in some, and if this occurs, you should try another type of protein. Rice, not only is rice a complete protein, it is also hypoallergenic, making it a great choice for just about everyone. And it has little flavor, so it can be worked into just about all of your favorite recipes. Some of the protein supplements that seem to be the most popular with patients following surgery are protein powders and liquid protein supplements, which are both easy to eat and digest. Protein powder supplements, this is an excellent choice for a protein supplement following surgery because it is so versatile. With protein powders, you can make delicious shakes and smoothies, which not only provide all of the nutrients that you need, but also soothe a sore throat with their icy coolness. Protein powders are available unflavored or in a number of delicious flavors, including vanilla, chocolate, fruit punch, and berry. A healthy, delicious, easy-to-make smoothie can be made by blending one banana with a cup of skimmed milk, a half cup of ice, and two scoops of vanilla protein powder. Liquid protein supplements, these also come in a variety of delicious flavors and can either be added to meals and drinks or purchased in a ready-to-drink form. Many liquid proteins are made from whey or casein, so if you have any problems with milk and milk products, you need to read the ingredients carefully to make sure that these ingredients are not included. It's probably best if you stick with soy, rice or egg proteins, just to be on the safe side. One of the newer liquid protein supplements available today is called Profect, from Protica. This supplement is ideal for surgery after care, especially if the patient is on a low-calorie, low-fat diet. Profect has only 100 calories per 3-ounce serving but provides 25 grams of protein. It is also free of fat and carbohydrates. Profect is available in many delicious flavors, including cool melon splash, blue raspberry, fresh citrus berry, and grapefruit mango. Conclusion, no matter what type of diet you are on, make sure that it is one that is recommended or approved by your physician. He or she will be able to inform you of the nutrients that you need and the amounts you need of each in order for a speedy, healthy recovery. A healthy, well-balanced diet should include about 35% protein, and by using protein supplements, you will be able to get all of the protein that you need, as well as a number of other essential vitamins and nutrients. In time, you will introduce solid foods back into your diet, but until you do, protein supplements will help to give you the well-balanced diet that you need to get healthy again.